Welcome to Abide's online worship service. Abide no online day hai ni yokosu. Mazu oinori itashimas. Kondo wa ego de oinori shite. Message no ato nihongo de oinori shimas. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for the wonders of your grace. We thank you for the way you love us and watch over us. And we just ask that you would watch over each and every one who is watching. Bless them with your grace. May your peace be upon them. Protect them in this time of COVID and other difficulties. And just may you show your love to them and shower your Holy Spirit on them. We pray that each and every one would trust in you and walk with Jesus. In whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. Messianic Shihen no Dayon to Narimas. Shihen Niju Nihin, Dai Nibu Nitsuite, Nashtaito Omoimas. We're continuing our series in the Psalms, and today will be our sixth message in Psalms, and today will be our fourth message on the Messianic Psalms. We'll look at Psalm 22, Part 2. King David probably wrote Psalm 22 during one of the darkest hours of his life, but the psalm goes far beyond David's time to prophetically describe Jesus' crucifixion. We looked at the first part of Psalm 22 last week, and it's just as if you're looking down from the cross. It's written that way at the scene below. ダビデは、イエスの時代の信念前にこの詩編を書きましたので、ダビデは十字架のことも全然知らなかった。でも、預言的なものと now, of course, David wrote this psalm a thousand years before Jesus' time, and maybe David was just thinking of his own struggles and his own difficulties, a difficult time in his life. But the Holy Spirit led him to include things that just speak prophetically so clearly of Jesus' cross. So that was last week, and we saw that last week's uh, section of Psalm 22 opened with the words, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus felt that he was far from God when he was on the cross in this time, and he quoted the first line of Psalm 22 to share that and as a prayer. この uh, the second part, we'll see the focus looking upon the idea of Jesus' resurrection and his second coming in that time. But first, I want to go back and take a look at the second chapter of Hebrews for a moment. カレノスクイノソシシオカズカズノクルシミオトシテカンズノモノトサレテノワバンブツノモキョデアリミノモトデアルカテニフスワシコトデアタカレデスこの特にその救いの創始者という言葉は私の大好きな言葉となっています。
そしてその「苦しみ」という言葉はイエスの十字架上の苦しみを指しているでしょう。In bringing many sons to glory, it was fitting that God, for whom and through him everything exists, should make the author of their salvation perfect through suffering. I love this phrase, the author of their salvation. Speaking of Jesus and how he did the work on the cross, his suffering on the cross,、uh, completed that salvation. Now, this is speaking of the cross, obviously. And the next verse says, Both the one who makes men holy and, the ones, and those who are made holy are of the same family. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers. Jijitsu, Hito se naru mono to nasaru kata. もう聖なる者とされる人たちもすべて一つの身のもとから出ているのです。それでイエスは彼らの兄弟と呼ぶことを恥としないでとあります。つまり私たちはイエスの兄弟となって私たちは良しとされてイエスの兄弟姉妹。もちろん、シエスは唯一の御子でありますけれども、私たちも良しとされるのです。Jesus, of course, is the one and only Son of God, but we are adopted into his family as brothers and sisters in the family of Christ. 次は、ヘブライビート、日章12節。He says, I will declare your name to my brothers in the presence of the congregation. I will sing your praises. And Jesus promising Father God that he will testify to his brothers and of course to his sisters also. And that's to all of us as well. And you see, I've underlined he and my brothers. So clearly here in verse 12, that's what we're talking about. And we notice this is a quote, and we'll see in a moment where this quote comes from. Watashi wa anata no nao, watashi no kyodai tachi ni shirase, shukai no nake de anato sambi shimasu to i. イエスは父なる神にご自分の兄弟、また姉妹に明かしすると約束されます。そしてそれは私たちもその中に含まれている違いありません。そしてカーセンがあるところを見て、それは私と私の兄弟たち、イエスのことは語っていらっしゃるんですね。それで私たちはこの言葉はどこから来たか、引用される言葉ですかはこれは、詩編22編23節のものです。Well, that thing that Je- was quoted there in Hebrews that was attributed to Jesus is the first、uh, line of our second part of Psalm 22. Verse 22 is it. I will declare your name to my brothers in the congregation, I will praise you. 私は兄弟たちに、身の語り伝え、集会の中で、あなたを賛美します。これは興味深いことですね。この詩品はダブルによってイエスの時代の数年前に書かれたことがあっても、ヘブライビトウの手紙の作者は、これはイエスの声だと判断しました。This is really fascinating because what we see here is that even though this psalm was written a thousand years before Jesus' time by David, the writer of Hebrews Is putting these words into Jesus' mouth as Jesus' testimony. これでも私たちは、新約聖書の作者たちは、この詩編はとても予言的なものだと考えていての証明となります。まあ、続きましょう。You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. 主を恐れる人々よ、主を賛美せよ。ヤコブの子孫は皆、主に栄光を着せよ。イスラエルの子孫は皆、主を恐れよ。ここでイエスは私たちを促しています。父なる神様を賛美するように。You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. Here, Jesus is exhorting us that we would praise Father God. For he has not despised or disdained the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. Now, notice the has listened in the past tense, and think of what we saw a moment ago as the first word of Psalm 22 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
there we see that the uh, Jesus had cried out at the beginning of the psalm, but now he says, Father God has listened to his cry for help. この from you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you will I fulfill my vows. それゆえ私は大いなる集会であなたに賛美を捧げ神を恐れる人々の前で漫画の捧げ物を捧げます時にお祈りる集会は何を指しているかもうはっきりとわからないでも教会全体への言葉だと考えられます it's not clear exactly what the great assembly refers to here, but I think we can think of it as referring to the whole church prophetically. The poor will eat and be satisfied. They who seek the Lord will praise him. May your hearts live forever. Notice the word the poor, because afterwards in a few verses we're going to see another verse that talks about the rich. And it's going to say basically that the rich are blessed in the same way as the poor are right here in this verse. まずしい人は食べて満ち足り主を尋ね求める人は主を賛美しますいつまでもそこ役な命が与えられますようにまずしい人ということ場に注意をいただきたいと思いますあと三つぐらいの聖句で私たちはそのあふれるもの so the poor and the rich will see are blessed in the same way according to their trust in God, their faith. Now, another line here, those who seek the Lord will praise him, reminds me of Matthew chapter 7, verse 8. が思い出されますね。それは主を尋ね求める人は主を賛美しますと誰でも求めるものは受け探すものは見つけ物と託ものには開かれると考えます。And of course that Matthew 7:8 is uh, says for everyone who asks receives he who seeks finds and to him who knocks the door will be opened. Praise the Lord. So let's go on to the next verse. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations will bow down before him, for dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. Now we see here where it says all the families of the nations. That reminds us of words in Revelation we'll look at in a moment. It reminds us that, okay, now we're shifting the focus on. We're going to look at this as the second coming. Revelation 7, 9, and 10. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. 
and they were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Amen. Every nation, tribe, people, and language. この後、私が見ていると、見よう、あらゆる国民、種族、民族、言葉の違う民の中から集まった。誰にも数えきれないほどの大群衆が、白い衣を身につけ、手に夏目やしの枝を持ち、玉座の前と小石の前に立って、大声でこう叫んだ。救いは、欲さに座っておられる私たちの神と子羊とのものである。もちろん子羊というのは、シエスのことですね。シエスはご自分の犠牲とされたので。あらゆる国民、種族、民族、言葉の違うため。それは、全世界からの人々は天国で、神様の前に礼拝するとなります。All the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him, those who cannot keep themselves alive. Psalm 22, verse 29. And now we see that the rich are going to be blessed with food and worship, the same as the poor were in the earlier verse. And it talks about them going down to the dust and will kneel before him. Well, we'll see in a moment that going down to the dust, I think, actually refers to those who. Or dead or dying. And it says also they will kneel before him. And we're reminded of Romans 14 11, where it says, Every knee will bow before me. She and Niju ni hin, Sanju says, Inochi ni afude de konochi ni sumu mono wa, Koto goto ku, Shuni hide fushi, Chidi ni kudata mono mo, Subete mi mai ni mio kagame mas, Matashi no tamashi wa, Kanadazu inochi o e. そこにその豊かに人あふれているものとありますけれども、もう貧しい人と同じように祝福される主の前に拝むとあります。そして、地理に下ったものは、もう死なれた人を指していると考えられますね。すべて見舞いに身をかがめますとあります。ローマ14章11節と思い出すところ。すべての膝は私の前に鏡とあります。そう、チリのことは、この創世記三章十九節にこう語られています。チリに過ぎないお前にはチリに帰る。And with that part about the dust, you know, we remember Genesis 3:19: For dust you are, and to dust you will return. And Hebrews 9:27 tells us: Just as man is destined to die once, and after that to face judgment. ヘブライ9章27節また人間にはただ一度死ぬこととその後に裁きを受けることが定まっているようでように。So let's go on to、uh, back to Psalm 22. 詩編に22編に戻りますね。子、uh, 孫は神に伝え、使い、主のことを来たるべきように語り伝え。成し遂げてくださった恵みの見業を民の末に次ぎ知らせるでしょう。Psalm 22, verse 30 and following. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord, and they will proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, for he has done it. Amen. Now we see this psalm ends with the words, He has done it. And that's also how Jesus' life ended, His earthly life. Because on the cross, He said something very similar to this, once again drawing us to compare the work on the cross and the prophecies of Jesus with this psalm. なし遂げてくださったところは興味深いですね。シエスは十字架上の最後の言葉でも同じような言葉ですね。それで私たちはまたこれは予言的なものだと認められるのです。ヨハネ19章30節にこう書かれています。イエスはこの武道酒を受けると成し遂げられたといい、頭を垂れて息を
Iki Torareta. John 19.30, when he had finished, when he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. So what is finished? The work of providing for our salvation, for our forgiveness of sins, for our resurrection, and for our entry into heaven. Back in Hebrews, we look at verse 1 3. Hebrai bito no tegami de isho sunsets mo yomitai to omoemas. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Miko wa kami no eiko no han e de ari, kami no honshitsu no kanzen no araware de atte, bambutsu o gojibu no chikara aru kotoba ni yotte sasaete orare masu ka. Itobito no tsumi o kiyomirare te no chi, ken no te kaitoku ni orariru oinaru kata no megi no za ni otsuki ni narimashita. Utashi tachi no sukui ga kansei sarete no desu. Our salvation is finished in Christ. それはクリストによって。それで私たちは今日でもこの大阪市でもシエスの福音を述べ伝えています。シエスを信じるように声をかけています。シート16章31節にパウルとシラスはフィリピンの漢字に語ったように私たちもいます。シエスを信じなさい。そうすれば、あなたも、家族も、救われます。So here in Osaka, we're still continuing this work of proclaiming the salvation that Jesus has provided for us. Just as Paul and Silas preached to the Philippian jailer so long ago, we also echo their words, saying, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Let's pray. This time I'll pray in Japanese. お祈りします。愛する主、あなたは私たちのために素晴らしい救いを備えてくださいました。どうか恵みを注いで、精霊の導きによって、聞いておられる方々一人一人が、シエスとの出会いができますように、またいつまでもシエスと共に歩むことができるように、助けて導きください。聞いている方々だけじゃなくて、その家族も、親戚も、隣人も、信じるように、恵みを与えてください。現在は、もういろいろ大変なことがありますけれども、私たちはあなたを信じて歩みつつ、あなたの御声を聞いています。必要をお与えください。日常の生活のため、信仰のためにも、恵み、憐れみを与え、そして、私たちが、シエスの出会いと通して、その家の命をいただきますように。苦しんでいる人々に、癒しを与えください。悲しんでいる人々に、新しい喜びを。シエスの皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン。